Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amy. I wanted to share with you all my recent favorites, things that I have been using over the past summer and also just recently during my trip. The first item that I wanted to talk about are these boots. They're pretty heavy and hefty and super good quality. For very fancy rubber. These are the Chanel rain boots. I'm sure you guys already know I love these boots. I talked about them so much and I have many review videos of these items. So I'm going to link all of them below. But these boots were so handy for me recently for my Alaska trip. And especially with the fall weather coming, it's getting a little colder, a little bit more rainier. I highly recommended them so many times. In fact, one time I met a subscriber at my Chanel boutique. She was just trying these boots on. She ended up buying the boots because they're so comfortable. The next favorites are these two combos. I've just revealed this blush in one of my recent Hermes Best Buys videos and this one is one of their newer blush in their kind of iridescent, sort of more of an iridescent blush versus their matte blush which is their older formula. This is one of their newest blush and I just love 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 the finish and um the color i feel like i can build on it this color doesn't get on super dark if you're very fair right off the bat so you can keep on going and adding and adding and it won't make you look crazy which is something that's good for if you're a new more newer or beginner makeup person uh, especially with blush um, it can really make you look quite crazy if you have a lot on but I can go in this a lot and it's always okay even with my fair complexion I just love it I mean I'm just going at it still and like I just love love adding this kind of like highlighty effect to my to my cheeks and I almost use it as a highlighter as well because I don't wear a highlighter so you see that glow it's just so beautiful. I have some freckles there, you can see, but um, yeah, like I feel like because it has that reflection, it also kind of helps you hide some of the, some of the, <laughs> some of the, some of the imperfections that I have, um, you know, in terms of like pigments on my face. So I've been really loving this blush, uh, this uh, rose doré color. So yeah, highly recommend this beautiful Hermes blush. It's just so gorgeous. I I love it so much. It's an expensive blush, but blush is something that I use all the time. It's something luxurious that I get to enjoy for a long, long time. Of course, I've been using this little brush as my uh, blush brush, and these are from Sonia G and also um, Chico Hodo. They are very, very soft. They are so beautiful. They are just the perfect size and like just a nice feel. This is a powder brush, but I don't actually use powder on my face because I have dry skin already. So I've been just using this with the Hermes bronzer and I just kind of use it all over as a C and kind of a little bit all over as a very, very fine dusted powder. And it's just the softest, like, kind of waking up thing that you can put on your face. Like, I'm not even kidding. This brush, if you're going to buy one face powder brush, it's it's so it's so nice, nice and luxurious. So Kat is right about that. She is definitely uh, someone that I will always ask about in terms of, like, recommendations for more brushes. I'm definitely in love and totally understand the hype of the nicer brushes like the natural bristles and just like the very soft fibers they're just oh the nicest thing on your face so here's another lifestyle favorite of mine it's the omnia pillow from sleep and glow this is a brand new one i just received it in the mail i am still using the older one that i have that i've had for two years now but they're essentially the exact same pillow it's an anti-aging and orthopedic pillow so why anti-aging i'm a side sleeper Actually, I'm both. I'm a side and a back sleeper. So whenever I'm on my side, my face can lay here. Because of the dip here, the skin on my face doesn't get squished on the pillow, which you would get on most conventional or even other therapeutic pillows. This has a specialized cutout and dip that fits exactly to the size of your face so that it prevents wrinkles. It also comes with this like 
extra little foam so that if you need a little bit more height. So when you purchase this pillow, it does come with an eucalyptus fiber pillowcase already. But if you're like me and you love your silk, then you're going to really enjoy this silk pillowcase. Again, this is a memory foam pillow, but it has a patented design which has special anatomical indentations so that your face and your skin can fit right on the cradle, right on this area that will prevent your skin from sagging and wrinkling, which over time helps with anti-aging and morning puffiness. And if you're someone who wears eyelash extensions, this is perfect for you because this pillow is made with materials that are bacteriostatic, antiviral, and antifungal. This pillow has a face cradle for sleeping on your side, but also a head cradle for sleeping on your back. It's a great long-term investment for anti-aging. Like I said, every little bit counts, especially when you're reach your 30s and 40s so if you want to try it out or if you're in the hunt for a new pillow definitely check it out i'll have it linked down below and you can also use my coupon code thank you so much to sleep and glow for sending me a new one that one's gonna go to my husband these two bags are my favorite that i've been reaching for them so so often this past summer obviously because i have a honeymoon phase with both of these this one is probably not for everyone but i did do a very comprehensive video comparing this with the kelly to go and the chanel walk the chanel walk is an amazing amazing walk so i totally understand why people go for that versus an almez plus this is like so much more expensive but regardless i love it i've used it a ton during my trip you can watch that in my vlogs videos Whereas for the Kelly, I haven't worn it as much as this, surprisingly, because I thought I would have worn this so much more, but this is my most prized possession. In the end, I I love this more, obviously. Not just because of what bag it is, but just because it's been something that I've wanted for so long and I finally achieved it. Um, but it's also um, super practical. I only ended up using this more just because it's black, it goes with everything, and I'm not worried to put in the wear and tear in this one. I definitely am treasuring this one a little bit more, which is why I kind of don't use it all the time. But yeah, they're both being used a lot over the past summer. I will say, and that's been asked several times on my channel, which one fits more? They're very similar. I will say for me personally, I can fit more in this bag only because I don't close it. But I think for a lot of people, they actually fit more in this one. And especially for a longer, like the max size phone, this one actually fits and this one doesn't. I know that these two bags are not easy to get. Um, in fact, you have to have a purchase history with your store. So I won't dwell into too much, but they definitely have been my favorite lately. <laughs> Up next, we have some clothing favorites. This dress was so comfortable. I wore it during my cruise and it was one of those dresses that is a no-brainer. I could have styled it with some belts too, but it's one of those dresses where because it's elasticated, it's so comfortable and especially on a cruise or on any given day really, if you're going to eat a lot and you don't want to just feel uncomfortable, this is just the greatest greatest design um it's such a beautiful dress this color is perfect i also like the pink color actually i like all all three colors they make it in the longer version as well with the shorter version what i like about the short version is that you could wear sneakers because it's long sleeve it's also going to transition very well into the fall which leads me to this other jacket which i've been wearing non-stop during my trip of course in alaska it is a bit cold and this jacket being insulated and a rain jacket and it's waterproof it's sort of like everything in one it's very very good for vancouver weather if you're looking for a new jacket i highly recommend this one i forget the name now but i'll link it below uh, there's a name for this jacket i love that they you've got a pocket right here which you know there was a couple days that i went outside or i was around the deck and i didn't bring any handbags just because I didn't want to care for another expensive item. And instead, I had all my things stuck in this pocket in my and in my uh, hand pocket. And the hand pocket is lined with this nice um, fleece material, which my niece was very appreciative because she had really cold hands and I just put her hand with mine inside the pocket and it was very soft and nice. One of those practical items that you're just glad that you have, especially when it's cold and rainy and it's just yucky and you just don't feel like it, but it's nice and cozy. It's going to keep you warm and dry and it pairs really well with my Chanel rain boots. So I really, really love this jacket. Minimal design, but 
super well thought out and just exactly what I needed for the kind of weather. I went with a medium because I wanted it slightly oversized which worked out so so well when I am gonna wear thicker layers in the winter. And if you're wondering about this jacket, this jacket is also super cute. It's not really a jacket, it's sort of like a cardigan top-ish thing. Um, it has silk in front and uh, this is like a thin, very very thin merino wool. It's so beautiful as a cardigan just layered over inspired equestrian chains which of course you guys know. It kind of reminds me of Hermes, but it's not Hermes. It's actually just from Lily Silk. The sleeves are slightly long though, so I do fold them out, but um, it's actually perfect when I fold them. And it's kind of like a nice um, layering or a nice little cardigan for the summertime, but you can also wear it buttoned up as a top for the spring and the fall time. So I haven't had the chance to style it for you guys, so I'll make sure to do that in the next video. Okay, let's talk about the Kelly belt, which um, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it nonstop. This is how I packed it for my trip. I just put one belt over another. See how I did the black one and the white one together? If you're looking for one belt and one belt only and a luxury belt, of course, for ladies mostly, if you're a guy and if you like it, go ahead. This will work for your jeans, for your pants, for your skirts, for cinching in different jackets. And I just love traveling with them because they're so versatile. I just bring two colors. Generally, I bring two colors depending on what I'm trying to style. And it just works for everything, literally everything. I love them. You can get the pocket version. You can get the regular version. It's just so easy to travel with. The dust bag is perfect for it. I have two belts in it. It's just so... So great, I love it so much. Recently, I've gotten a lot of questions about my ear cuff, which uh, I guess I can take a second to talk about as well. This has definitely been a favorite of mine. I've been traveling and wearing this a lot over this past summer. These ideal jewelry pieces are my favorite. This is not sponsored by the way, but I just love them so much. I always am wearing, I think I brought a combination of like six different earrings. I mean, just because the, di the different add-ons can be mixed and matched differently. So I had like a six combination style of earrings that I brought over to my trip and they're all just fine jewelry so I don't have to worry about going into the pool and everything. And, and yeah, they're absolutely, have always been my favorite. The cuff is super comfortable. This is the power cuff. A lot of people have been wondering what this was. You slide it in and it's very comfortable. It doesn't hurt. If you're looking for just like your standard stud earrings, I recommend this one with this add-on, which is a halo design. If you like a dangly earring, this is really, really pretty. It's always one of my go-to, the one that has three little dangly things. They're very substantial and beautiful, but also very lightweight. Something that I have been using a ton and especially super handy when you're trying to take group photos or if you like vlogging, but especially when you're trying to take group photos or even just selfies, because a lot of times when you're out and about, it's hard to always ask a stranger to take photos for you, especially if you're a bit picky and you don't like how they take it sometimes. Just do it yourself with this sort of tripod. So this is something that I asked Clara to help me buy in Hong Kong. And I'm sure you can find a similar version on Amazon. I'll try to find it and link it below. But essentially, it's a very small item. You can fit it in most uh, standard size handbags. Like if you have a handbag like this, you can definitely fit it inside. And it travels so, so easily. So I had this in my jacket pocket a lot, like the, the Helly Hansen jacket that I was just talking about. Um, and it's so lightweight and because it's so lightweight and it's very compact, but you can also just kind of extend it to this length, which is 70 centimeters. So not quite a meter yet, but it is definitely tall enough and solid enough. Hold your phone right here. Uh, a lot of times I would just hold this and be vlogging if I don't want to close it every time. But every time you put it down and you can just do a group selfie or your own selfie and that way you don't ever have to ask for help. So something like this, I do highly recommend. I think this is better than those selfie sticks that a lot of people use that they have to hold because this one you can actually put it on the ground and uh, also you can just fix the, the phone in portrait or landscape and yeah, when you're done with it, you can just put it back and yeah, so, so, so handy. I will say 
um, probably one of my best purchases. <laughs> but I didn't know where to find a good one originally, so I asked Clara to help me, but um, I'm pretty sure if you just go on Amazon and look up the reviews, you can find one that's good as well. Anyway, I'll, I'll try to find one and link it below. Last but not least, I have to shout out to a couple of my subscribers who are so, so, so thoughtful and gifted me these items that are just absolute gems. So this one is a really cute little pearl strap that is something that you can attach to your phone. It's so cute. It's from Caseify. The most amazing thing is that it fits all phone cases that have a charging port. So as long as you have a cutout on your case, it will fit any phones, literally any phones. It doesn't have to be iPhone or anything. It can be Android. So this one is my older one. This is the snake chain one. This is definitely my favorite one before I received this pearl one, but like this one is great because it's light and you can just sort of like grab it and go. Here you go. This is the strap card. Like I said, you, um, it's from Casetify and you just fit it through any phone cases that have a charging port. You put your phone and it just becomes a really bougie, almost Chanel inspired phone case. Like, oh my goodness, guys, it's so great. I love it so much. Thank you so much again. This is from the newest collection. Les Ombres Bizance. I recently met up with a subscriber and she got me the color 328 Barure Cristal and it's just the most beautiful, beautiful blush quad that I've ever seen in my life. Of course, you guys know how Chanel quads are, but because it's limited edition, it has also this beautiful gold embossing and oh my goodness, guys, I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has this like beautiful, almost like rose chromey um just beautiful beautiful color story it's more of a rosy mauve color story and then there's a brown for contouring and then there's this beautiful almost like a bluish white it's just gorgeous thank you so much i i will cherish it so much and i am just so excited to have new makeup to play with because you guys know I don't really buy makeup. This concludes my list of recent favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. Check out the Omnia pillow. Apparently they've changed their manufacturing uh, location. So now they're all manufactured in Italy. I don't know if it was in Italy back then, but it doesn't matter. It's still the same great quality, good pillow. They also sell pillowcases in silk, but otherwise it already comes with its own pillowcase as well. So it's really up to you if you want to get the luxury pillowcase as well. But you guys know me, I love my silk and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what are some of your favorites this past summer and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.